Good morning reception, it's time for phonics and it's our handwriting focus today because it's Friday, um, which feels remarkably like all the other days at the moment, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to just quickly recap um, the curly caterpillar letters that we've already done. So let's have a look. Remember, if you can form that shape, you can form all the other letters quite easily. A, A, G, Q, D. Okay, and then the next ones we practiced were A, Okay, and if you want them in cursive, they're like this. Oh, thank you, Henry. Are you helping? Yes, well done. They're the right letters, Henry. Okay, so there you go. There you go, there you go. If you could practice each of those sounds, just once should be fine if you're becoming a bit of an expert at those. going to practice today are a bit of a tongue twister. They're called long ladder letters. Can you say that? Long ladder letters. Henry thinks that's funny, don't you? Mommy. So we'll start with, ooh. So it, the, it's a tall one. Starts at the top. Come down and then we give it a little flick. When you come to make your letters cursive, you just need to add the lead in stroke and then the rest of it is the same. So if we add that flick now, that will help us when we do cursive and you might already do cursive. But my reception class, just print. Oh, oh that one's not very good. Oh, and sometimes we come up a little bit too high and it starts at like an up, so. Just make sure it's just a little uh, flick at the bottom. Uh, right, thank you, thank you. That's mummy's, thank you. Right, the next one is very similar. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave one of each up at the top because we need to be able to compare these. The, the, so, I eh is the next sound. So, again, same shape, but it's smaller. It's about half of the size. Oh, I. Eh. So, I. Eh. And practice those. Yeah, you be careful. Uh, now that one's not very good, is it? Because it's not on the line. Just a little flick. Again, this one can really look like a no if we come up so high. Okay, all it. The next letter that we're practicing writing is J. So we start at the top, about the same height as it. Come down, cheeky monkey, but it's going that way this time, and a dot at the top. Um, please do your dots like this, not like this, and not like this. Okay, just nice, neat little dots. Okay, so let's have a go then at J. So same height as I, straight down, cheeky monkey. Okay, and the trick is keep it as straight as you can until that cheeky monkey tail. Um, and the next thing to say is when we do come to cursive, this is how I think we do it. Remember, I don't do cursive, so I'm not sure. But I think we go like that. And wow, that does look very, very fancy, doesn't it? Okay, great. Well done. So, u i j Okay, what I would do if I was you, practice writing these in little families. So the Lidge family. Oh, e, j. And then you can compare them in size. So it and j start about halfway up compared to the o. O, e, j. Oh, how lovely the Lidge family. Okay, can you have a go at writing the Lidge family at least five times? Um, you can send me them to Tapestry, that would be lovely. And be good reception. Thank you. Bye.